uh, we thank you for um, having a forum like this. <coughs> and we know, as a minister, you are quite interested in wildlife, uh, visiting most of these parks and know what's inside uh, and all. Uh, but I have a question uh, coming from one of the speech that I saw uh, on TV yesterday, where you mentioned that um, you believe that anyone holding an NIC should have a separate land and a house in this country. As a minister over the, four of, of, over the last four or five years, the only criticism we had on you when it comes to environmental concern was that how you develop your Udagammana uh, all around the country. Uh, and I saw another statement by you about a week or so ago, possibly about two weeks ago, where you mentioned that you intend to establish industrial parks on all divisional secretariat levels. So these two objectives of yours in terms of development and the environmental conservation, how do you propose to manage? Because like I said, what I want to emphasize is that I find these housing projects are critically encroaching into our environments, ecosystems that are critical to the, critical of the survival of these three species that are mentioned mentioned here. Thank you. Okay, I thank you for your question. Um, uh, let me assure you um, that we will embark on the two projects that you just mentioned. Um, we have to do so, of course. Um, in a sustainable manner. Um, now, if I may enlighten you uh, on the model village program uh, that we have implemented, uh, please note that it is not merely distribution of land um, and construction of houses. Uh, we have many sub-programs um, that we will implement. Um, there is a conservation program whereby we encourage um, the recipients uh, to embark on tree planting programs. I must say not with much success, I agree, but we will have a concerted effort um, through the presidential task force that we ensure uh, that we enhance forest cover. Um, we, we also um, promote um, food security um, in terms of um, enabling uh, those particular households um, to uh, grow the, uh, the uh, food materials that are needed uh, for the consumption of the household. Um, thereby, uh, there is an economic advantage that I hope to accrue, um, that is to reduce our imports um, and ensure that our uh, export-import balance um, is uh, you know is in a positive manner as far as uh, the exports are concerned because I, be, I, I want to uh, mention to you that we hope to um, embark on a knowledge based economic approach where we prioritize uh, exports based development. Now having said all of that um, I will ensure that, uh, that the strict standards are adhered to um, as far as the housing programs are concerned. Um, here on, we will, be, um, we will be embarking on housing programs uh, not so much horizontal, uh, it will be vertical, um, so that we uh, efficiently use the scarce resources, um, scarce land resources that are available, and also paying special attention to uh, what you stated about um, encroachment of uh, protected areas and buffer zones. Um, and secondly, I have to say, um, I will stick to my principle that uh, if one is a citizen of this country, um, I think uh, that citizen um, or sub-family unit um, should be empowered uh, with his or her uh, land and house because I strongly believe uh, in the economic empowerment of all sectors uh, of society. Having said that, uh, we will of course have a um, sustainable development bias, a strong bias 
um, in implementing uh, all our uh, development programs and sure um, in creating these uh, industrial estates we will ensure that uh, those uh, government lands um, that are not uh, belonging to uh, the uh, forest department of course uh, we cannot uh, uh, use wildlife land uh, it is uh, um, totally uh, against the fauna and flora act um, but uh, in establishing both these housing programs model villages um, and the industrial parks uh, we will ensure that we do not encroach upon um, forest conservation lands and those lands that are sensitive um, as far as the protected areas are concerned.